This digital to analog converter, part of a product line of high-end audio components, has four inputs for different digital devices. It also has a built-in CD drive. Many of the converter's structural parts are made by computer-guided machines. This computer-guided lathe, for example, rotates an aluminum bar which a cutting tool forms into one of four legs that support the CD drive. This milling machine cuts and shapes most of the aluminum parts that make up the converter's chassis, the box that contains all the electronic components. The parts come off the mill with sharp burrs along their edges. So the next step is to trim them with a deburring tool. Workers spray the trimmed chassis parts with black powder paint, then bake the paint in an oven to make it more durable. They print labeling on the chassis' front and back panels by squeegeeing white epoxy paint through a silk screen stencil. Then they put the panels in the oven to bake the paint. These grommets are made of a special type of silicone gel that dampens vibration by converting it into heat. Workers install them in between the CD drive's support base and each of the feet to create a floating suspension system that protects the drive from vibration. Next, workers install the CD drive onto the support base. They install the drive's protective cover. It prevents dust from getting into the CD optical reader. Meanwhile, a technician tests each of the converter's five circuit boards to make sure they function perfectly. This board runs the LED display, which shows the selected input and other playback information. Once all the circuit boards pass inspection, workers solder the LED board to the front panel circuit board, which runs the converter's user controls. They insert brushed aluminum push buttons into the front panel's labeled holes. Then they attach the front panel circuit board. This aligns the push buttons with the corresponding contacts on the board. They assemble the chassis bottom, side and back panels. They attach the front panel with its push button controls and in the center, an opening for the CD drive. The technician visually inspects the converter's main circuit board, which converts the digital signal to analog. A microscope hooked up to a camera magnifies the board 50 times, so the technician can detect any soldering defects or other flaws. If the main circuit board passes inspection, they install it in the back of the converter, next to the power supply board. Next, they install the CD drive. This requires connecting three cables into the main board, one for the optical reader and two for the motors that open and close the loading tray and spin the compact disc. Before completing the converter by closing up the top, they test the CD drive as well as the four other digital inputs, which are designed for connecting devices such as audio components, DVD or Blu-ray players, TVs, and computers. The testing machine takes all kinds of measurements to ensure the converter performs to a list of technical specifications. If the unit passes inspection, they complete the assembly by attaching the top cover. This digital-to-analog converter is now ready to play its critical role in this high-end audio system, reproducing sound for the discerning ear.